Our latest adventure takes us to Oregon's Willamette Valley. It's a wine region that charms visitors with its lack of pretension, a food scene that focuses on local farm-to-table cuisine, and a group of winemakers that embrace a sense of community and collaboration that has them producing truly world-class wines. We recently visited some of our very favorite Oregon wineries and also discovered some new ones, which we can't wait to introduce you to. it for its just earthy nose but really citrusy palate. Um, it does really well in the cooler weather climate so tailor-made for this um, and it's it's just different. During almost one year, the wine was totally closed, uh, and and they were unable to come. Uh, and after the racking, after the malolactic degradation, wow, the wine came. The wine is beautiful, and now the nineteen are for me. This is our best vintage. The excavation footprint is, was kept to a minimal, to a minimum, trying to keep as many trees as possible, as close to the building as we could. Uh, the backside is underground, we're covering the, solar pan the, the, the roof with solar panels right now. The backside of the roof is a green roof. The more you know your vineyard, the more you have a good idea of um, what, you may be able, what you may be able to get from that fruit. Down here we have a Pinot Noir block, and then also what you see right here is a Pinot Noir block, and then up in the distance is Chardonnay. So we have about two and a half acres of Pinot Noir and an acre and a half so far of Chardonnay. I think the important thing about working in different places and seeing different artists and different winemaking is to know that at the end of the day, if you don't have good fruit, right, wherever that may be from, whatever that expression is, you're not going to be able to produce uh, sort of that world class stunning wine, right? And that doesn't matter if your climate's hot or cold, or you're dealing with frost, or you're dealing with burn, or you're dealing with a maritime climate, or, you know, it's just about finding the right spot for grapes and then treating them with care, which in my mind is organic or biodynamic farming, right? And really being stewards of the earth and keeping that living soil, both Felton Road and Sarasen were biodynamic, which is, I think, hugely impactful for me to see that so early on, and, and what those grapes were like coming in, how much attention was spent in the vineyard and the connection between the vineyard and the winemaking. 